This is part three of the video tutorials, which will demonstrate the scan alignment and fusion step of HP's 3D Structured Light Scanner Pro S3. Move to the Shape Fusion tab in the software. The Shape Fusion menu provides functions to clean, align, and fuse multiple scans into a single 360 degree model then compare scans and measure distances if desired. The fused object can then be exported in various formats for 3D printing as an example. Let's begin with some basic navigation. Further details are available in the HP Online Instructions Use Shape Fusion. Immediately under the alignment header, there are four icons, 1D and 2D, and undo and redo buttons. After selecting multiple scan images, you can use the 1D and 2D buttons to view and arrange them for easy manipulation. The redo and undo buttons work the same as similar icons in Windows applications. Before getting into actual alignment and fusion, let's save the scan results as a project. All the scan files will be listed on the right-hand side of the screen. Click on the top selection box to select All Scans. Click the Save Project As icon, name your project, and select location where it will be saved. Close the project. Use the Load Project icon to quickly bring back any project into the working area of the software. Another useful feature is the import export function. Files can be exported in a variety of formats including OBJ, STL, PLY, and 3MF. Select a file and click the export icon. Select your file extension and the location of where you want the files to go. Import works by dragging and dropping from Explorer or by using the plus sign below the list. Lastly, you can click on a scan to view the additional menu options. Right click on a scan to view menu. The most common ones used are combine and uncombined scans, which will be discussed later in the tutorial. Also, the scan properties icon displays all the mathematical properties of the scan. The HP software does a great job of automatic alignment. Further mastery of this part of the 3D scanning process will yield better and better results as you use the scanner. Let's do some scan cleaning. Select a scan from the list to display it in the scan window. Move the scan around to detect any area of unwanted noise or scan interference. Click the drop down arrow in the cleaning selection area and choose rectangle selection. Using the left mouse button, draw a rectangle on any area of the scan to be removed. Now click the red X to remove the area. Now choose Polygon Selection and left mouse click to draw a shape. When finished, right mouse click. Click the red X to remove the area. The Polygon Selection is the normal selection when doing cleaning. Finally, Select an area using the Polygon tool and highlight an area of the scan you want to keep. Click the Invert selection. Clicking the red X in this instance will remove anything not selected. Caution, you cannot undo cleaning. So do not save your project if you have modified any files in error.
Once you are satisfied with the cleaning process, proceed to scan alignment. During scanning with the automatic turntable and manual scan sequence, the software will align the scans automatically where there is sufficient overlap between neighboring scans. Let's look at the finished scans and see what additional manual alignment may be required. The alignment selections are free around axis, not discussed here, pairwise fine registration, not discussed here, and global fine registration. Using free alignment, click the Use Texture and Use Surface Features boxes. Looking at the two scans in the scan window, manipulate them to orient for alignment. Click the Align Scans button. The cursor changes to a magnet icon with the letter A. Click on the scan you want to align and the cursor changes to the letter B. Click on the scan you want to align to and let the software process. Next, let's look at contact pair selection. Pick two scans with unique features. Click contact pair selection and click the Use Surface Features box. Click the Align Scans button. The cursor changes to a red circle. Pick an area on the scan to be aligned and click the left mouse button. Now pick the same area on the scan you want to align to and click the mouse button. The software displays a line between the two points and processes using the features selected as reference points. As you are successfully aligning scans, it is normally helpful to combine the scans to temporarily group them. Select two or more scans in the list of scans by checking the selection boxes. Right mouse click and select Combine Selected Scans. This groups them and allows you to use them as a single scan. Click Uncombine Scans to reverse the process. Once you are satisfied with the cleaning and alignment process, select Global Fine Registration from the Alignment drop-down menu, click Align, and allow software to process prior to fusion. This is always the last required step prior to fusion. When ready to fuse, make all scans you want in the fusion process visible. Start with a small resolution value, as fusion is a highly computational step, and higher resolutions will take longer and consume more memory. Set the sharpness value, default is one. Higher values add noise, negative values smooth the mesh. The close holes option will fill in gaps. This can be adjusted so you can set the density or percentage of the gap that needs to be closed. Click Fuse. When Fusion is complete, you can add it to the project file by clicking the Fusion Result Add to List icon. Don't forget to save your project file. This concludes the tutorials on the setup and operation of HP's 3D Structured Light Scanner. Continued use and experimentation with the hardware and software will yield great results for the user's project requirements. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy using HP's 3D Scanner.